How y'all doing, family? Yeah, today we got an important video. I know my voice sounds horrible. I'm making this for y'all. I barely can talk. Hey, man, it's been a long week. Like, long week. I really couldn't do footage because my voice was gone. You know, my sign has been acting up, so... Yeah, just bear with me, man. This is just a grind, uh, you know? It's just grind, like, it's real life, man. Sometimes we have these things that happen to us, and we just gotta keep going, we gotta keep pushing through, because the world, it'll never stop moving. So, it's just things that we have to endure and do as humans. So, like I said, man, hope y'all having a blessed Sunday, man. Today, we're gonna talk about functioning in a chaotic society. Like, that's the topic for today. Functioning in a chaotic society. We're going to break this down to two parts. Parts of four. All right. Self-care, man. Make sure you have self-care when you're trying to function in a chaotic society. That's very important. It's very vital. It's very key. If you don't take care of yourself, <clears throat> who's going to take care of you? Who's going to take care of you for you if you don't take care of yourself? Just answer that. Just think about that. Who's going to take care of you? Get up. Go to the gym. Get up. If you like to go fish, go fish. If you like to go walk the park, go walk the park. If you like to meditate, go meditate. Connect with something that you love to do. Connect with that source. It'll put you at peace. Like... When we in this world and there's so many things going on around us that's chaotic, in order to keep your peace, you just sometimes have to just block it out, tune it out, and keep going on your pace. So that's important and make sure you do that. Number two, stand informed. <coughs> make sure you keep up with reliable news sources and not unreliable news sources. Try to understand the chaos, but, you know, not just get too stuck into it. So just keep, you know, keep informed of it because you got to be able to make important decisions based on what's going on in the world. So you got to know something. You can't just be unaware. You got to know. You got to stay in the know. So remember that part. But at the same time, don't let that control you and dictate through every move. Okay. So stay in that know. Stay up to date with the news, but just move accordingly based on that news. So, that's number two. Number three, build a supportive network. How many of us got friends that we could go talk to right now that's like-minded people? If you're a go-getter, how many go-getter friends do you have? How many people that you have around you that have the same common goal as you? And they push you to be that best person that you can be. You need more of those people around you. Remember that. Keep supportive people around you. Keep like-minded people around you. Now, again, they need to be different in some type of capacity. But what I'm saying is, you all have the same traits. You all have the same traits, man. That's beautiful, man. Everyone wants to win. Everyone is hungry. Everyone is feeling blessed. There's not too many negative people in this world. Like, man, just if you got negative friends, you know what I mean. Imagine being around negative people all day. You're trying to do something, somebody negative. Like, man, that's holding up the video, though. So I'm going to stay on topic. But, man, that's draining. It's very draining. So get a supportive network. Surround yourself with friends and family. Provide emotional support and practical help. So they're there for you mentally and physically, okay? And final, final step, let's start embracing flexibility. Be open to changing your plans, moving around, adapting to new situations as they arise. You got to be able to do these things because in life, man, we have to move around. So sometimes in life, it's important that we do have to balance it out move around stick and moves like sometimes we have to do that as humans and that's okay man that's okay if you have to adapt to a new situation man don't you know don't think anything of it man because in life is not just a straight road man i know we wish it i know we wish it was like that but it's not 
we really do wish it was like that, man. Sometimes I do, but I, as I get older, I learned the importance of going down hills and up hills. Man, you get to see a lot. You get to learn a lot about yourself, a lot about your character. So don't take those moments for granted. Be able to adapt. That way you can help somebody in the future that's going through it. They don't know how to do it. They don't know how to maneuver. But you can show them. You can help them. You can give them vital advice. Be that person for you, yourself, and others. Because think about it. All great leaders was once great followers. So in order to lead the next person, in one point of your life, you had to follow. Because you don't learn how to lead by yourself. You had to lead, learn from an example. So, there's nothing wrong with that, man. So, again, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I had to get a good video out for you all today, man. We working this week, man. I promise you. I'm promising. We're working. it. I'm making up for last week. I missed one video. Short of my goal, I'm making up for it this week. So, just be ready. Be ready. Because I'm coming, baby. I love y'all. Family. I hope y'all have, a again, a blessed Sunday, man. Be thankful. If you woke up today to see this video, man, hey, you're blessed. So just remember that. Remember these four things. Self-care. Stay in the form. Building a supportive network and embracing flexibility, man. I'm out.